All right, we've got some Padres news, significant Padres news in my opinion. You Darvish announced as the opening day starter. He'll be going up against Tyler Glass now and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Game two will be Joe Musgrove against Yoshinobu Yamamoto. I think some people say Yoshi Yamamoto just to make it easier. But yeah, that is a mouthful if you say it like five times in a row. So go ahead and try that. Um, but yeah, these two here, Soul Series, I was expecting Joe Musgrove to be named the opening day starter just because he was pitching before you, Darvish. And then Darvish didn't pitch. Uh, on Friday night because of the weather. He threw a bullpen, but he didn't pitch against batters in that game because there was no game. I just thought that Musgrove was being set up to go start this game, but they end up going with Darvish. And now, Major League Baseball, maybe they're happy because they're getting a Japanese star in Darvish. I know it's in Korea, but Japanese star game one, another Japanese star game two, instead of one game being both Japanese players. Darvish versus Yamamoto, or maybe they're sad a little bit because they wanted it to be Yamamoto versus Darvish maybe in game two, and they were going to have Musgrove versus Glass now. They thought that's what was going to happen for game one, but for game two, that's going to be an exciting matchup. Musgrove against Yamamoto, can't wait for that. Game one's going to be exciting as well. I mean, it's the start of the year, and Glass now, Darvish, that's a heck of a pitching matchup as well. Both guys, Darvish and Musgrove, they seem to be healthy. So, obviously, that's great news. And seeing the star power. Manny, it seems like he's going to start the year as DH. But that's what matters the most is him being in the lineup, right? Tatis, Manny, Bogarts. Big stars there. And then you go over to the Dodgers side of things. Obviously, ha Sung Kim, Korea Series. I got to throw him in there. But, obviously, I'm talking about, like, the major league superstar players. Kim... He's like that fourth guy there, but we know that the big three, it's still Bogarts, Manny, and Tatis. Then on the other side, if you go to the Dodgers' big three with Mookie, Freddie, and Shohei, I mean, that's a heck of a matchup right there. And then we're going to get to see Darvish pitch against Shohei Otani. That's going to be a fun watch. And I know it's going to be at 3 o'clock in the morning, but I'm going to be amped up. I'm not going to need I, – I never drink coffee anyway. I never drink uh, energy drinks anyway. But not going to need it even if I did. Like, that's just, I'm going to be amped up. It's, it's going to remind me of the, wor the Women's World Cup this past summer where it was like midnight, but I did not care. I was super excited to be watching those matches. Um, but yeah, that was the news that came out this morning that was scheduled to come out this morning. Darvish pitching later today. By the way, I will go live uh, either following this game or at the end when there's like minor league no names that are in there. And I will talk about some of the X factors in this Padres season. Obviously, get to the chat, answer questions. You can join the show as well. So stay tuned for that later today. This is being recorded here Monday, March 11th. And then the other piece of news that came out after this opening day, first two games, I guess, announcement, the roster cuts. Not all of them. There's, I think, 37, yeah, 37 players left in camp. But these are significant names that are being shifted to minor league camp. Matthew Batten was fighting for a roster spot. Same thing with Cal Mitchell. Same thing with Jacob Marcy to a lesser degree. Tim LaCastro was. Mason McCoy to a lesser degree. I never thought he was going to make the roster. And Kevin Ploiecki, he was just another body. It's it's the, the typical El Paso catcher that if you need him, okay, may, maybe Brett Sullivan will be joining Kevin Ploiecki here soon. But I think he'll make the trip to Korea because you don't want to just have two catchers when you're going that far from your home. When you're going to Korea, you cannot just bring two catchers because if someone gets hurt, then you're screwed. So Sullivan will be making that flight. So Floeki, minor league camp. Marcy, I, I agree with this decision. I'm not surprised by this decision. I didn't think he was going to make the opening day roster. I think that that one prospect in the outfield was going to be Jackson Merrill. I think that's obvious because every like opening day lineup that Mike Schilt puts together, Jackson Merrill's playing center field and he is in that. He started and left early in spring, then transitioned obviously to center field and that's where he is. Today, by the way, I don't know if anyone has seen the lineup for today, but it seems like a opening day lineup to me. Maybe not exact, but it's Bogarts leading off, Tatis, Cronorth, Manny, Kim, Pauly, Camposano, Profar, Merrill. I mean, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, 
or switch hitter in Profar, and then left. I mean, it's kind of balanced there, pretty balanced. And so I think she'll, it feels like they have the names down, like they know that, or maybe Tyler Wade will play tomorrow in place of Graham Pauly, let's say. It feels like they have the names down, except for maybe one. And now they're just trying to see, okay, what's the best order? What's Should we have Bogarts lead off? Should we have Tatis lead off? Should we have Cronenworth at second? Should we have him hit third? Because they want that lefty there. They don't want to have like four or five straight righties right off the top. They, you don't want to create that lane for your opponent, for the Dodgers, obviously, because they're going to be playing the Dodgers first. Um, and then just obviously in the rest of the 162 in the season. So uh, a lineup that I like today, for sure. And then some of these other names. So we start with Batten. He has not had a good spring. Ege Rosario can play third. Pauly can play third. Uh, Miller that they brought in on the minor league deal. He can play third if he makes the roster. Tyler Wade, if he makes the roster, he's still in camp. He can play third as well. So, or not just third, but he can play other infield positions just like Batten can. He has more big league experience than Batten. So they're, they're, and, and uh, Wade is a lefty bat. So, you know, Wade's in camp. I'm not saying Wade's going to make the roster, but it seems like he probably will go to Korea. One of Miller or Tyler Wade, probably. Um, and then, Cal Mitchell, he was on the outside. I think that's just like a typical El Paso guy there. It will be a cool story. You know, San Diego guy, if he does get called up at some point and he gets to play in a game, wear that Padres uniform at Petco Park, that would be a cool moment. So hopefully he stays in the organization and keeps fighting for that. Um, Tim LaCastro, really good start to spring, but the Padres, obviously, they weren't weighing that too heavily. Against the Angels uh, yesterday, had a little bit of a hard time in the outfield there. Um, I think the Padres, they see it as if they have a Zokar on the roster, that's your speed guy. LeCastro, he's speed, but a Zokar they're more familiar with. They like that. And they're and both guys, I believe, are right-handed hitters. So they're just gonna go with a Zokar, is what it seems like there. And who knows? Maybe they only go with four outfielders, not five, but we'll see on that. Mason McCoy, Kevin Pluecki, obviously, they weren't gonna make the roster unless a ton of injuries happened. So that's the latest news as of now. Um, again, show later today. But give your thoughts in the comments. Darvish named opening day starter. Musgrove, game two. Glass now, game one for the Dodgers. Yamamoto, game two for LA in the Soul Series. March 20th is opening day. Can't wait for that. Padres have a couple exhibition games before that. Uh, Darvish on the mound later today. So we'll see how he does. And then some roster cuts are happening. Uh, but there's there's still more roster cuts to be done because there's 37 players and they're going to be bringing 31, I believe, to South Korea. 